Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Drawing Tutorial. I am Virakesh, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering Kids for Angle. In this video lecture, I am going to explain how to draw the three views in orthographic projections. Here, I have taken uh, one figure. The figure number is 20.39 in Engineering Drawing by ND by Textbook. For this object, we need to construct front view, top view and side view. Before going to draw uh, any view, before going to draw uh, any orthograph projections, we need to identify the front view. For every problem, he has given that one arrow, arrow mark direction and x symbol is there. Here the x means observer, arrow indicates uh, observer direction. So, when the observer watching or uh, stand here and watching this side, so this view is called as front view. If you identify the front view, Simply you can identify the top view and side view. For this object, the side view is left side for the observer. So, uh, for this object, it having left side view. So, you need to draw this left side view uh, on the to the right side of front view. Uh, before going to draw uh, this front view top view side view let us note down the full length full length for this object is 75 mm total width is 63 mm total height is 50 mm you know that uh, here i am telling very easy method that is box method uh, you need to construct three boxes that is front view rectangle box you can use uh, this dimension that means total length 75 mm and total height uh, 50 mm next uh, construct top view rectangle box that is total length 75 total width uh, 63 mm and uh, left side view you can use uh, those dimensions that is total width 63 mm and total height 50 mm draw the xy line you know you know that x y line is only for front view and top view what about side view for that side view we need to take one more new reference line that reference reference line should be perpendicular to this x y line this is the x1 y1 first we need to locate we need to draw the front view rectangle box here the left to side view is here so left to side projections are falls on right side of front view so you can start front view here here the object uh, here not given that is above hp or in front of ap you can take let us assume 10 mm above the hp and 10 mm in front of ap otherwise the object is on the hp and 10 mm in front of ap here uh, here i am taking the object is on the HP and 10 mm in front of VP. So that's why I need to construct one rectangle box on this horizontal plane. Total length is 75 mm, total height is 50 mm. This is the front view rectangle box. And this object is 10 mm in front of VP. So the common point for front view and top view is length. Both views having same length that is 75 mm and this width is 63 mm total length is 75 mm and total width is 63 mm for side view uh, you can follow uh, you can follow any one of the method that is you can follow the 45 degrees angle method or arc method here for this problem i am using 45 degrees english method the intersection point of x y and x1 y1 reference line let us assume this the intersection point both from this o point draw the 45 degrees line 
from these two projectors draw the horizontal lines up to this 45 degrees inclination line and from this point draw the vertical projectors next similarly draw the horizontal projector from this front view so that's why you, you uh, no need to measure the dimensions per side view because with the help of front view top view directly you can get the dimensions for side view this is the left side view for the strong projection method left side view is always right side of front view please remember this the very important point for first time projection method left side view is always right side of front view for third angle projection left side view should be left side of front view this is the front view rectangle box this is the top view rectangle box and this is the left side view rectangle box you you can fit you need to fit what are the front view edges are visible or cutting portions are visible you can fit only this front view rectangle box similarly in the top view rectangle box similarly in the left side view rectangle box let us see the observer watching uh, from this side uh, what are the surface are visible in the front view just uh, i am taking one uh, red color uh, colored color brush I just am painting what are the surface are visible in the front view this surface visible and this surface is visible this surface is also visible when the observer watching from this side this top side this triangle portion is also visible in the front view similarly uh, this portion is also visible in the front view but this is uh, back side of uh, this portion so this portion not visible but this is also represent in the front view what are the features are visible in the front view just you can draw the 2d figure 2d figure in this front view rectangle box just you can see um, uh, the observer watching in infinite distance this is appear like one uh, slant edge this is the continuous edge line so the total length is 75 mm this total height is 50 mm this left side this height is 12 mm when the observer watching from infinite distance this is uh, appear like one uh, inclination line so you can join from join this and both ends but uh, here one cutting portion is there when the when the observer watching from infinite distance uh, this is appear like uh, uh, some uh, this portion is removed but how to represent this portion when the observer watching from infinite distance these vertical edges visible in the front view so uh, one edge from 25 mm from left other edge uh, 25 mm from right side edge so just you can draw the two vertical lines <coughs> this vertical line from <coughs> 25 mm from this edge second vertical line 25 25 mm from this edge but uh, when the observer watching from infinite distance this surface is visible but here the one cutting portion is there so that's why we need to represent uh, this cutting portion with the two vertical edges next uh, after completion of this part when the observer watching this side this triangular portion is also visible this is starting from uh, 12 mm from left side locate that point this height is 16 mm here he has not given uh, that edge width so just you can draw the horizontal line where this line meets uh, on this slant edge similarly when the observer watching from this side uh, back side of this portion uh, some part uh, some part of the material is removed so you can represent with a dash line from uh, 2 mm from top end 2 mm from top end okay after completion of this front view then we need to draw the top view for easy construction from you can use this front view from each and every point each and every corner point or edge point draw the vertical projectors to this top view from this end, this end, this end, this end 
when you seeing from top side uh, this surface is visible in the top view just you can draw the outer lines outer edges for the top view that means this edge is visible that 75 mm length next uh, this uh, edge is also visible in the top view that is appear like one straight edge the total length is 63 mm next uh, this length is 25 mm next uh, this width is 12 mm next uh, this is the 25 mm cutting portion next down to well this is 25 this is now join this one when the observer watching from top side this is the boundary area boundary edges are visible in the top view next i the which what are the edges are visible in the top view when the observer watching from the top side this rectangle portion is also visible in the top view you can use the front view uh, when the front view this triangle portion is there this edge length is 25 mm just you can see this vertical projector on that vertical projector you need to draw this 25 mm edge at the middle at the middle means this total edge length is 63 63 by 2 uh, above 12.5 and below 12.5 that means to draw the 25 mm line next this he has not given this width so you can use the front view sketch uh, this up to you can draw the horizontal line up to this projector line let's complete the rectangle box similarly when the observer watching from uh, top view uh, this cutting portion is also visible this is appear like uh, one rectangle this portion is also uh, appear in the top view so you can draw this portion uh, from top draw the horizontal line from 22 mm from top from this point after 22 mm draw the horizontal line up to uh, you can use this projector line uh, this width is 25 mm uh, he has not given that this width is uh, this width is 25 uh, exactly has not given that i think uh, he has given one more condition 22 mm from top end and 22 mm from bottom end you can use uh, you can take dimension from top end and bottom end and finish this rectangle box for side view from each and every edge point or corner point draw the projectors to left side view from this end draw the horizontal line up to 45 degrees line from this edge from this edge and from this edge from this edge similarly draw the vertical projectors from each and every end 1 2 3 4 5 similarly draw the horizontal projectors from front view from this point from this point this point and this point when the observer seeing from this side uh, this bottom surface visible this rectangle surface visible and this slant edge is also visible this slant surface also visible in the side view but the surface is reduced here the maximum height is 50 mm just you can draw the outer line or outer boundary for the left side view this height is 50 mm this width is 63 this height is 50 and you can see a uh, top end this 22 mm visible draw the horizontal line up to 22 mm and uh, down up to 12 mm next draw the horizontal line next uh, draw the vertical line and draw the 22 mm line <coughs> when the observer seeing from this side these boundary edges are visible in the side view <coughs> similarly uh, this uh, rectangle surface is also visible in the side view that means width is 25 mm height is 16 mm you can use the top view 
top view sketch or front view sketch just you can see it <coughs> and also with the observer seeing from this side this bottom surface is also visible this height thickness is 12 mm uh, from 12 mm from bottom bottom edge draw the horizontal line next the uh, rectangle surface is also visible in the side view just you can draw the inside view you can use the stop view projection this is 16 mm this width is 25 mm next when the observer seeing watching from this side uh, this cutting portion is invisible so uh, one portion is uh, from just you can see here up to this portion is just you can draw the horizontal line here up to this portion is invisible this portion is visible so you can draw the rectangle here uh, after that rectangle draw the one uh, dash line up to bottom because uh, this top surface is visible just you, just you can draw the horizontal line that is parallel to bottom line uh, this top surface is visible and bottom surface is invisible so you can draw the rectangle box here and bottom one is you can represent with dash line because when the observer watching from this side uh, this part of cutting portion is invisible in the side view so draw here this this portion is visible in the side view and from this point to bottom point this cutting portion is invisible in the right side or left side view so you can represent with the dash line after completion of this final front view top view and left side view you need to give the dimension for each and every view let us see the front view dimensions uh, this height is 16 mm next to this bottom height is 12 mm next give the uh, dimensions for top view this total height is uh, total total width is I think total width is 63 mm next this one uh, 12 mm next give this dimension 25 mm next uh, bottom edges uh, uh, total length is 75 mm this one is 25 mm this is also 25 mm next you can give the dimensions for side view the total height is 50 mm this bottom one height is 12 mm next uh, top one 12 mm you can give a uh, few more dimension if, if possible you can give the more dimensions uh, this is the final solution for the given object to draw the three views that is uh, front view top view and left side view uh, i hope i hope this problem is very clear to everyone thank you for watching please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates you can uh, watch a, a similar type of videos in the playlist